All right, Andy, I'm going to email this to you so you should be able to open this up. Just go ahead and click on um, on uh, downloading. Uh, as soon as it comes up, it should come up right there. Open it up. Just go ahead and open it up as it is right there. Uh, once it pops up, let me see. There it is. Now, this is probably where you had problems last time. You got to go to the security warning right here. What you want to do is you got to enable. It's going to enable all the macros that are running in this. You got to enable. If you don't enable it, it's not going to run properly. Now you can go ahead and browse through the first page, which is going to cover all the information that you need, or or you could just go straight to setup. Setup. You're already going to know right here. You're going to go. You got to go to tables. Tables tab. You're going to set it up. Uh, you're going to have remember. remember uh, Hoons, Subic, Bay. Uh, now you don't have to type the whole name out. You can always uh, abbreviate it. Uh, what other uh, Queens? And I cannot remember. And you're gonna have you know uh, blah and blah blah whatever. Now right here you're gonna set it up to the the amount of tables. Now if you only have six tables, just set it up for six. Change it to six right there. All right, we got six tables, max Q. Now that's the uh, group of people that you're going to be sending out there. So you're going to send three gr three groups of players going out there. So it'll actually be six people going out to play. That'll be queued in for these tables right here. Um, at the lowest, you want to keep it at two. If you only got if you got like 20 tables and you got eight people, you can just no, lock it down to one. It doesn't matter. But at the lowest two, at the highest, you can move it up to four. Recommend I recommend three on the norm, but you don't have to worry about this. The catch up losers first. That's only you only want to worry about that that when you've already started the tournament and everybody in the winners bracket has already played around. So then you want to have to catch up the losers side. Now, normally when you first start off, you don't have to worry about this. Just start it off and then let it play. And then when you when once it, it, you're halfway through the tournament, you go back to this. But this is only when you're running a tournament of about 128 people. So if you're if you're not running more than 30 people don't even worry about this area. All right, we're going to do the signups real quick. All right, what we're going to do is usually you'll have like Al and you'll have his number. You know, um, if they're a 010 number, don't worry about uh, putting in their number uh, all the way 010. You like uh, Brian. Um, don't worry about my spelling. Just, just, just do the last uh, six numbers, you know, the last eight numbers, I mean. And if they happen to be like uh, uh, a zero one uh, zero zero one one number, where it's actually a weird uh, first number, then I recommend putting in the the whole number all the way through, so that way there's no misunderstanding there. Um, you want to tell people at the tournament to come back and verify their phone number because if they don't verify their number and they walk away, they're going to be like, oh, I, we've been calling you all night. We forfeited you. But then they're like, oh, well, you wrote the number down. If you tell them, hey, before you leave, come back and verify your number, then there's not much they can say. Now, I'm just going to do some ambiguous names or ambiguous uh, typing because uh, it doesn't really matter too much. Now, I'm going to just go up to 16. Now, but you can do less or you could do more. The the software knows what it's doing. Um, all right, now we're going to do 16. As you see right up here, it says total signed up. You got 16 players. You scroll all the way to the right, still total signed up, 16 players. Uh, random and in order. If you do it in an order, it's basically going to change it out where uh, like one will play two, three will play four, and so forth. You don't want to do it like that. Just leave it at random. This is for a doubles tournament. We're not doing doubles at all, so don't worry about that. Maybe later on we'll go into doubles, and I'll change that up. Normal start or shotgun start. Shotgun start, it just crams it out. Don't worry about none of this stuff right there. Just hit seed. Now, this is going to take a while, okay? Um, only reason why, because it's populating all the fields. It's, it's filling, as you see my uh, the cursor right there, it's got that little blue blinky light because it's, it's thinking about it. It's, it's running all the macros. It's, it's seeding all the people and so forth. And what you're going to do is it, it'll, once it's populated, uh, you can, won't be able to do much of anything like that. It might I, I'm almost assuming it'll take longer when you're running at 128 people because it's got to populate every single field. Don't worry about that so much. This is the easy part. Like I said, you fill it in, put in the names, and you hit seed, and then you just wait. Wait for it to finish up. Uh, I'm assuming there we go. It's done. Now from here, once it, it's gonna, it, it kicks you straight to games. If you go to the bottom, it says tabs. It's, it's gonna kick you straight to games. Hit update right there.
All you got to do is hit update, and it's going to start it off right off the, way, off the bat. Now, from once you've already started the, 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 the tournament, the only two tabs you'll ever really need to do changes to is Notify and Games. All right? Games, it already tells you right here. Brian, this is his number. Who is playing this other guy at Remember Bar? If you go to the Notify, it tells you the same thing. If you call Brian, right, and you get a hold of him, just hit a little X right there. Bam. Red. All right. He's been called. He's been notified. He knows to go play. If it takes you a while to get a, a, a hold of Hugh or whatever or not, then don't worry about it. He's not answering his phone. You can skip him. Go to the next buy. You got a hold of there, and you got a hold of Al. You've gotten a hold of both these players. See how it X'd out and X'd out. Now, once you hit update, all it's going to do is just drops out the uh, those two guys that you've already notified. Brian and Hugh are still waiting. Once you've notified Hugh, you hit update again. It drops them out. Bam. You don't have to hit update every time. You could just go ahead and 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 go ahead and you know as you go and just go like that. Now it'll tell you right here also when they've been notified. Now this is the second page. When the guys come and tell you that so and so has been uh, that Brian uh, has played uh, Hugh and Brian won. Remember, just put in a one or a two. All right. It's color coordinated, so you should ver verify very quickly. You know, player two, Hugh one, he's green. All right, er human error is going to happen, so you got to be careful with that. Once you hit update, there's no way of going back. You pretty much screw yourself. So all you can do is just hit one, and that's it. And make sure that you validate exactly who played who, and that's about it. But you don't want to hit update because you'll screw it up, man. Once you've already done that, then you can hit update. Or you can just wait until you've played down the list or played close to the bottom of the list and then hit update. It doesn't matter. I actually recommend almost to do it right afterward, but just verify that so-and-so won and that's it. You hit one, you hit update, bam, next game. Hit update, and bam. All I did is just verify it. It's pushed Brian down here. He's getting ready to, he's getting ready to play the next guy. Uh, let's just say two, one, one, two. Sorry about that. Uh, one, one, one. All right. Update. Bam. It should be all the way. Push them all down. And look, it's already populated again. Now, with it, when you're when you're running like 16 people, you're not going to need board 128. This is just an overhead view of the whole of the whole thing. Now you can press Control and then uh, scroll back on the mouse button, and it's going to make it smaller so you can see the whole the whole thing. You'll hardly ever use board 128. You'll most likely want to use uh, at the most like board 64 or board 32. You, you'll never make any changes on these board 128, 64, 32, or the finals. You'll never make changes on those. Now, if you see like when you're using only 16 players, you can almost use the board, the finals, just to see almost everything that's going on right now. You know, you is playing Nib over at Remember Bar, and you know, and they're playing each other because they're already in the losers bracket. And over here, we got Brian and Adieu over there playing at Remember Bar as well, and they'll move up from there. Uh, you can go at board 32 and see that as well. They're they're basically the same layout. It's just kind of like a zoom in of the whole format. Uh, the you have the player database. You'll never use this tab. All it's for is just to give you a statistical view of how many games a person won and how many games they want they they lost. It, it's it's unnecessary. It's just for fun. Remember, games and notify are the only two tabs. You see how, even though we didn't hit the notify or nothing like that, even if we hit update, it doesn't matter. It's still gonna drop them out. Now we know who we gotta notify for the next games. Okay. We're still back at games. Keep going. You you can just stay on this table if you want the whole night. Now once you go to the finals and you hit over here, if you scroll to the right, you'll notice you got it'll tell you who won first, who won second, who won third, who won fourth, who won fifth, and who won sixth. It automatically populates the whole system. But it'll also tell you that from the games board. Once you get to the very bottom, it tells you right there, six through first through six. I don't know exactly how to set it up playing out further than six. You'll have to figure that one out on your own. But first through six, that's what this plays for 128 pl players. Um, hope you like this quick little video. Like I said, you can always go through the instructions over here and read through it, the whole, th the whole thing. Or just use this little video to get a little heads up on it. Uh, press pause whenever you need to on the video so that we can check out little parts. Uh, I'm going to try to set you up now with the elimination format for a person if they go higher, okay? All right, um, let me know how this video works out for you.